Garris. I'm the owner of Travel Pros. Um, I am stationed out of Norfolk, Virginia. We also have uh, Sarah Fry from Pennsylvania. And then we also have uh, Glenda Stevens from Houston. We try to cover the whole United States with our vast knowledge of the sandals um, industry and the different um, you know, resorts and locations that they're, they're on. I've been to all of them, so I can speak from my own experience. And um, we're lucky tonight to have Courtney Taylor here as our guest from Sandals Resorts to talk about St. Lucia and Antigua. This is going to be a wonderful experience. If you've never been, this is a great time for you to learn all about the Sandals um, and Beaches Resorts. We'll have beaches on another night, but the Sandals Resorts and why they are truly the best all-inclusive out there. That's where I vacation. Like I said, I've been to all of them and vacationed at all of them. And I just don't do sightseeing tours. I actually go and stay and enjoy my time. And I am definitely a service person. And when I get there, I am completely relaxed. I don't have to worry about a thing. All I do is order my drink and I sit in my chair and get another drink or read my book or I do the excursions. I just, I don't have to think about anything and it's wonderful. So I'd like to turn everything over um, to Courtney tonight. She is gonna go through a presentation of the different islands as well as the different resorts. And if you have any questions, definitely please put them in the chat line and then we will try to answer them as soon as possible. We will also do a follow-up email after this um, to tell you about the different specials that they're gonna be offering you for tonight. Again, if you have any questions, just put them in the chat line. And thank you for attending tonight. Ms. Courtney. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let me get one second to get set up here. All right, can we see everything clear? Yes. Looks Perfect. Good. Awesome. Well, let's get started. Again, my name is Courtney Taylor. I am the business development manager um, here in the Virginia area for Sandals and Beaches Resorts. So Jennifer already gave us kind of a good sense of what Sandals and Beaches have to offer you. Uh, but what I hope to do tonight is talk to you a little bit more about how we earn those five stars and how we got that reputation as the world's only five star luxury included resorts. Again, if you do have any questions, feel free to send them into Jennifer. I would be happy to answer. I actually just came back from two of the resorts in the last month or so. Um, I was at Beaches, Turks and Caicos last week. And then about three weeks ago, I was actually in St. Lucia. So I can tell you personally about my experience traveling to and from the resorts and actually staying there as well. But most importantly, how exactly do we earn those stars that we got? And it's by exceeding expectations. For those of you who aren't aware, the all-inclusive vacation used to be the budget vacation. It was, how can we get the most bang for our buck? Sandal said, how can we take that concept and elevate it? How can we make that five star? We have been voted world's best over 27 years in a row and counting. And I don't just say that to pat ourselves on the back, but to let you know that we're a company with strong integrity that's been recognized throughout the travel community, but also that you're working with an agency with strong integrity. Jennifer and her team, as she mentioned, not only sell the resorts, but go themselves. And they want to make sure that wherever they send you, they know you're going to be taken care of from start to finish. Sandals Resorts were created for two people in love. When our founder first created the resorts, he wanted to foster a feeling and an ambiance of romance where two people could just reconnect and bask in their love for one another. That's seen most definitely in our Love Nest Suites, named appropriately, of course, because they foster that feeling of love and romance. Um, this is actually a fun fact. The suite here on the left is called our Romeo and Juliet Suite, um, and it's actually a famous suite. It was featured as the fantasy suite on Ben Higgins' season of The Bachelor. So if you've ever wanted to stay in a famous suite, this is the place to go. Courtney, your yes, slide's not moving forward. Uh, okay, let's see. Can't see me shifting slides? No, ma'am. There we go. Can you see it now? I do. Okay, perfect, thank you. So continuing, are you able to see the changes? Yes. Um, awesome. 
Can you make your screen full? Uh, it is full on my end. Okay. Let's see. Hold on. It's only given us partial view. The full free now? No. Um. How's it look now? There you are. There we are. Okay. Sorry about that. Again, the joys of technology we were just talking about. But that's why. Hopefully after sitting behind this computer screen for a couple of hours, you can get to some place where you don't even want to look at a computer screen like our sandals and beaches. Oh my gosh. I know. So if you're an HGTV fan like myself, you know, as important as the homes and the houses are nowadays, the bathrooms are so essential. Everyone wants their own spa-like serene oasis. And we've adapted to that with our sandals and beaches bathrooms. Whether it's the Turkish ivory stone floors, the marble his and her vanities, backlit mirrors, rainfall showers, my personal favorite, which is the tranquility soaking tub with room enough for two, our spa amenity kits, his and her bathrobes, and so much more. You really do feel like you're stepping into your own oasis here. So we have three levels of service when it comes to sandals. We have our luxury category, which is essentially like our entry level. But if you want to know a fun fact about that, my first time staying at a sandals property, I was there for a training with about 20 other new coworkers. Um, and as we're getting our room category, some people got club, some people got butler, and I got luxury. So I was understandably disappointed. You know, I wanted the best of the best, the biggest category. And I remember they took me to my room, they dropped off my bags, and my jaw literally dropped. I could not believe that the room that I was standing in was the bottom of the totem pole. I kid you not, it was bigger than my current apartment here in Alexandria, Virginia. So I knew that this was the place for me if this was just where we were starting. Just a step above that is our club level. It's that little extra oomph that makes your trip a bit more streamlined and a bit more concierge. You're met upon arrival by the Club Sandals team, privately checked in at the Club Sandals Lounge. And this is a lounge you can utilize for the duration of your stay whether it's to make dinner reservations, just to hang out, or to find out about some of the exclusive club events that we're hosting that week, like breakfast with the general manager or a special cocktail reception. You also get your own private in-room orientation and resort orientation, and this is where your liquor in the room begins. So with your luxury rooms, you have beers, wines, and juices in the fridge, uh, but with club and above, that's where you actually have hard liquor as well as room service. And last, but certainly not least, is our butler level service. Our butlers are trained by the Guild of Professional English Butlers. That's the same guild that trains the Queen's Butlers in England. And they are there to make your stay the epitome of luxury. I think for some people who aren't used to butler service, they can be a little apprehensive. If you're not used to being waited on hand and foot, it can seem a little bizarre. I think people also have this perception that they're, you know, standing by the bushes, watching every move, or sitting by your bedside while you sleep. It is not nearly that intrusive. Jennifer, I'm sure, can tell you more about her personal experiences, but they are as hands-on or as hands-off as you need them to be. Say it's something as small as you got all the way down to the pool, you're ready to get relaxing, and you realize, I forgot my sunscreen in the room. You call up the butler on the personalized cell phone you're given upon check-in, and they'll bring it down for you. Oftentimes, it's doing things without you even having to ask. It's coming back from a long day of excursions and having a bubble bath drawn for you. I've even heard stories of butlers uh, learning the timing it takes their guests to finish a drink so that they're already back with a fresh one right as they're finishing their last one. They really are there to go above and beyond and make sure that you do not have to raise a hand if you don't want to. It's very cliche, but it's very true. They say, once you go butler, you never go back. Of course, at Sandals, we have captivating pools, whether it's our zero entry pools, sky pool suites, private pools, or perhaps the most popular pool in the Caribbean, the ocean. All of our water sports are included. Paddle boarding, kayaking, snorkeling, glass bottom boat rides, scuba diving, and so much more. If you wanna get up every single morning, go down to the Aqua Center and get to snorkeling, you can do so completely included. As I mentioned, scuba diving is also included, and we are ranked one of the top five dive operations in the Western Hemisphere by PADI. Our PADI certified divers can actually do one two tank dive per day, complimentary, or two one tank dives per day. Or if maybe you're looking to learn a little bit about scuba diving, you've never done it before, and you want to kind of get your feet wet, we actually have a special Discover Scuba course um, that you can take. It is an additional charge, but we might have something to take care of that um, that I'm sure Jennifer will talk to you about when we finish our event. 
Of course, we can't forget about our land sports as well, whether it's beach volleyball, tennis, basketball, or our most popular land sport. Sandals truly is a heaven for our golf lovers. We have complimentary golf in some of the most picturesque locations on Greg Norman designed golf courses. All of your green seas are covered. We have courses for novice, for experts, everything for the golfer in you. Now, as much as I like hanging out on the resort, I have to get out and experience the island in which I'm staying. And the best way to do that is through Island Roots. Island Roots is our Caribbean adventures company where we have everything from mild to wild. Whether it's river rafting, deep sea fishing, dune buggy tours, a catamaran cruise, a personal favorite of mine, swimming with the pigs, and so much more. We have everything for the adventure in you. Now, I highly recommend if you're interested in doing an excursion that you book it in advance with Jennifer and her team. Uh, they can actually sit down with you and tell you exactly which excursion they're offered in each destination, what all you need to bring, how long they last, and secure your spot before you go because these excursions fill up fast. As I mentioned before, Sandals Resorts were created for two people in love, and what better way to celebrate that love than with a destination wedding? It's important to note that with Sandals, destination weddings are not just something that we do, it's something that we specialize in. Our program is called Customizable Weddings because we like the focus to be on the word customizable. No wedding can be duplicated because it's designed to the exact specifications and the dream wedding of that couple. One of the places where you find the most value in a Sandals or Beaches vacation is in our five-star global gourmet dining program. From farm to table, our master chefs serve only the freshest quality ingredients sourced from around the world. We have anywhere from five to up to 21 different dining options at our various resorts. What's become very popular at Sandals, because there's often so many options that you don't have time to finish them all in one trip, is the three restaurant or two restaurant dining experience. So what some people will do is they'll try a lighter fare, like our sushi restaurant for appetizers, move to a second restaurant, like perhaps our steakhouse for dinner, and sometimes even a third restaurant, like our French cuisine for dessert. Where else can you dine at three restaurants in one evening? Now, granted, they might have to roll you onto the plane afterwards, and I am not responsible for any objections from your doctors. But hey, in my opinion, when you're there, you're there to indulge and you're there to enjoy yourself. I can tell you personally, I always make the mistake. I just came back from our Turks and Caicos property of thinking I'm going to do appetizers at the sushi restaurant. And it is just so incredibly good. I cannot resist the urge to eat everything on the menu. And I have no room for second dinner. Of course, we can't forget about our liquor as well. Our premium liquor is included and unlimited. We carry top shelf liquor for all of our guests. There is no differentiation in room category whether it's Appleton Estate, Jim Beam, uh, Smirnoff, Tito's, and so much more. One of the other great things about our resorts is our no tipping policy. So the only staff that are even allowed to accept a tip are our butler staff and our spa staff at guest discretion. But outside of that, none of your bartenders, waiters, housekeepers, et cetera, are even allowed to accept a tip. So you don't have to worry about fighting at the end of the bar when you have a $5 bill and the guy at the end has a 20, not worrying about wading through the swimming pool with a wet wad of ones in your swimsuit or checking every five seconds to make sure your purse didn't get disturbed when you left it at the beach, you can leave your wallet in the room. All right, now the fun part. So I've given you a little taste of the Sandals and Beaches vacation and what all it entails. So now I want to get a little bit into our different resorts. So one of the great things about Sandals, but one of the reasons why it is so important to book through your local travel advisors like the team at Travel Pros is that our resorts are not cookie cutter. They're not carbon copies of each other. Each one has its own unique style, personality, layout, ambiance. So it's important to know what is your dream vacation and what are the factors that you need in your ideal vacation. And the team here at Travel Pros can help you find the resort that's best for you. Some are larger, some are smaller, some are more lively, some are more quiet. So all those things play into planning your dream getaway. We have 15 different resorts on the Caribbean's best beaches. These are the islands in which we're located. Bahamas, Jamaica, St. Lucia, Grenada, Antigua, and Barbados. However, tonight we're gonna travel over to the Eastern Caribbean. These are those islands that are a little bit farther to get to, but so worth it when you get there. Specifically, we're gonna focus on St. Lucia and Antigua. 
Antigua here is a very unique island, absolutely stunning. If you want to know a fun fact about this island, it actually has 366 total beaches. That is one for every day of the year plus leap year. It used to be 365, but I guess they added a new beach, which not sure how that works, but they managed to do it. Our resort here has actually been voted the Caribbean's most romantic resort over 22 years in a row. That is a travel accreditation that is certified one of the most romantic resorts in the Caribbean. Uh, this is ideal for our honeymooners or those just looking for a really romantic getaway. This resort is split into two sections. We have our Caribbean and Mediterranean. So as you can tell, the style of the resort is very authentic uh, Caribbean style, which I personally love. It has that Mediterranean charm um, that's really grand, but also feels authentic and vintage. This is one of our private pool suites here. Um, as you see, you have your own private pool, private hot tub, and you're just a hop, skip, and a jump away uh, from the ocean right in front of you. Again, the beach here is absolutely incredible. Um, pillow, soft sand, absolutely crisp white. This resort definitely has a little bit of something for everyone. It's not that crazy uh, upbeat atmosphere, but also not that one that's super quiet as well. You can really find um, lots of entertainment and things going on, but still those places that you can tuck away and get a little peace and quiet um, to enjoy with your loved ones. So here at this property, we do have 11 different restaurants. It's 11 different dining options that you can choose from and seven different bars, including our swim up bars. This is also a great destination for snorkeling um, and scuba diving as well. We also have Hobie cats here, which are a little, um, what do you call it, like sailboat style, um, day and night tennis, professional instruction for our water sports, daily and nightly entertainment. Really, it's a one-stop shop. Here we also have a Barefoot by the Sea and a Cafe de Paris. These are two of the 11 restaurants here. Barefoot by the Sea, you can get authentic, fresh seafood caught from the ocean you're looking at and enjoy it with your toes literally in the sand. Cafe de Paris is our French pastry style cafe. So that's where you can get anything from frappuccinos, cappuccinos, um, cakes, cupcakes, crepes, milkshakes, so much more. Uh, you can go in empty-handed and walk out with bags full of pastries. I'm obviously speaking from personal experience because that is what I do every time I'm there. Now, moving over to one of my personal favorite islands in the Caribbean, St. Lucia. St. Lucia is often called the Hawaii of the Caribbean. Um, based on the style and topography of the island, it's very similar to Hawaii. However, it's not a eight plus hour ride to get there, specifically for our East Coasters. And we do have all-inclusive options, unlike Hawaii. Here we also have three different properties. So one of the great things about Sandals is our exchange privileges. What that means is anywhere that we have resorts within proximity of another. Proximity means anywhere from five to 30 minutes. We actually provide a complimentary transfer service between those resorts. So you can stay at one and enjoy all of the amenities, bars, pools, et cetera, of the ones nearby. So here in St. Lucia, between the three properties that we have, you are getting 11 pools, 11 whirlpools, 27 restaurants, 21 bars, and two golf courses that you can choose from. As you see, St. Lucia has a very majestic and grand feeling, which is why I absolutely have fallen in love with it, um, especially based on where we're, excuse me, we're located um, on the island. So first is Sandals Grand St. Lucian. This is actually the resort that I was just at a few weeks ago. Uh, this is definitely the most lively of the three. It's that upbeat atmosphere. You could always find some kind of events going on. There was water and fire shows, beach parties, but again, still has those places that you can tuck away and get some peace and quiet. Little fun fact, that island that you see there in this picture on the right is actually called Pigeon Island. And you can actually hike to the top of that and get 360 degree views of St. Lucia, as well as some history in the island as well. Um, they have uh, the fort up here as well and some interesting facts that you can learn about the history of this island itself. This is only a two minute walk from the resort. You can literally do it right off the property, right there, get some history of the island. This is also one of the three locations of our infamous over the water bungalows. Now these are very similar to the ones you've probably seen in Bora Bora, Fiji, Maldives. However, these are not a 24 hour flight to get there. And in many of those cases, you are just getting the suite itself. It's additional for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. With us, you are getting uh, private transfers included, 24 hour butler service, 24 hour room service, 
And though you'll probably never want to leave your suite, you can't forget you still have the entire resort behind you and the other two nearby. Here at Sandals Grand, we have some unique restaurants. We actually have a Josephine's Gourmet Crepery where you can get um, freshly made, savory and sweet crepes. We also have an old London pub. The London pub is that traditional pub experience where you can get late night fare, fish and chips. Um, great if you're trying to catch a sports game or maybe coming in from a late flight and you wanna grab a bite to eat before you head to your room. And, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention, this is two of the 12 dining options that we have here at the Grand. And last but certainly not least, we have Sandals Regency La Talk. This is our most glamorous resort, as we call it. Uh, based on the way that it's situated into the hillside, it gives you some of the best uninterrupted views of St. Lucia. As you see here, this is our millionaire suite on the right. Uh, don't let the name fool you. You do not have to be a millionaire to stay here, but you will feel like one when you're in it. As you see, you can open up the sliding doors and you get incredible idyllic views of the ocean in front of you. We have nine different dining options here that you can enjoy at Sandals Regency La Talk, as well as eight different bars, including our swim up bars. So in total, again, you're getting 27 dining options between these three properties. If you wanna get up in the morning and try breakfast at the one nearby or try lunch or dinner or go over for the evening or the entire day, you just go down to the lobby, ask for a transfer service and they'll bring you over. And last, but certainly not least, we have Sandals Halcyon. Sandals Halcyon is our Garden of Eden-esque resort. Um, there's no building taller than the highest palm tree. It's not that super expansive resort feeling. Um, it's a quieter, more boutique property, but really a warm and intimate environment. It has a cottagey style influence um, that feels very homey. We have two different dining options here. We have Kelly's Dockside over the water restaurant and Kimono's, which is our Tapanyaki style dining. So sorry, these are just two of the options available, not the only two. Kimono's is our Tapanyaki style dining where they actually cook the food in front of you. They flip the shrimp into your mouth. They light the onion tire on fire. It's that super fun, immersive experience that you just get to show up, sit down and enjoy. I have to say though, my favorite kimonos is definitely in Turks and Caicos because the chefs there make the experience go so far beyond just the amazing food. They sing with you, they dance, they really do make it this fun, um, incredibly immersive experience. So these are two of the six different dining options that you're gonna get here at Sandals Halcyon. So just some information too on St. Lucia the Island. It's an extremely culturally rich island and there's so many different things to do that can't be found anywhere else in the world. Uh, St. Lucia is known for its pristine scuba diving. So if we have any scuba divers, this is an incredible place to check out. They also have the infamous Fountain of Youth, as they call it. So they actually have um, an excursion you can do where you go to a waterfall and you go to this special mud bath where you actually use the mud bath and put it on your skin. And they say it takes 10 years off of your age. Again, I don't know if it's actual magic or just the beauty of the island, but it is a once in a lifetime excursion. Um, we also have the infamous pitons as well that you can go out and hike. I want to thank you guys again for your time this evening, for letting me come out and talk a little bit more about sandals and beaches. Um, thank you again to Jennifer and her team for putting this together. You guys truly are in very capable hands when it comes to planning your dream destination, dream vacation, excuse me, at a sandals or beaches resort. So I'll open it now to see if we have any questions. I'd be happy to talk to you guys more about the resorts, about my travel experience um, or anything like that. Well, I just um, wanted to talk about my butler experience. I, uh, I am definitely not a person that I think I have enough service already from the staff when I'm there that when I did have a butler, I was in New Grill, Jamaica, and I was, so, I was really actually kind of excited about it. They gave, gave me my own little phone and they're like, whatever you want, man, no problem. And I'm like, okay, um, I do like to have bacon in the morning and my little danishes and my coffee. And I usually get up about 6.30. Um, I'm an early riser. Sure enough, it was delivered every single day. And I was like, wow, this is really amazing. And then one day I told him, I said, I'm going to try to sleep in a little bit late because um, we're having the beach party tonight. And so tomorrow morning, I'm probably not going to want to get up early. Well, they ended up bringing it in. Um, 
you know, my fiance had let him in and it was there. And I was so thankful I had that breakfast um, ready for me the next morning after drinking a lot of Bahama Mamas. And um, the best part about it was when we went out snorkeling and I did like um, mojitos at that time. And when you go out snorkeling, they take you out on the boat and you're swimming around in a very salty atmosphere and you get this taste in your mouth. And, but they give you rum runners and stuff, of course, on the boat when you're coming back in and slices of watermelon. But sure enough, my butler was standing there on the beach waiting for us with drinks in his hand. And everybody around us was like looking like, who's that for? And I'm like, oh my God, that's for me. <laughs> I mean, it was, I felt so cheesy, but it was like, I wanted that drink so bad because you do get all that salty taste in your mouth. But it was like, that was, to me, was one of the best experiences. Um, that, and I I never had to, like, worry about going down to the pool or to the beach to get my spot because it was done for me all the time. When you go to other resorts, and I don't know if you've experienced this yourself, but if you're not down there at 5 o'clock in the morning to claim your spot, you, you don't have it. It's not like that at Sandals. They have so many lounge chairs and um, I call them floaties for the pool. I mean, it's enough for everyone. The place can be at 100% capacity, but you never feel like the resort is full. I've been to other resorts that are not the same brand and they have 3,000 rooms. That's 6,000 people with one full kitchen cooking all those meals. Sandals actually has individual kitchens for each of their restaurants. And that to me is another big thing. Um, Robert went with me a couple of years ago for his first time and I'm sitting there ordering dinner and lobster's not in season year round. So you have to make sure that lobster is in season when you go. And if you love lobster, like I do, we order our dinner and I ordered the steak and he's like, well, I thought you were getting lobster. And I'm like, well, can I have three, lo two lobster tails? Like, oh, man, you can have three if you like. And I was like, are you serious? So I'm sitting there eating my steak and I have three lobster tails. It was grilled, dipped in butter, and it was amazing. So pretty much every single night I had lobster. That's important to you. That is a huge benefit to going to a Sandals Resort. Because if you go to a different one, a different company, that's not included. They upcharge you or surcharge you. Same thing with premium liquor. And lastly, I fell in love with Butch Stewart. He's the one that is the creator of Sandals and Beaches Resort. He's the one that invented the swim up pool bar, put hair dryers in your room before and the all inclusive before any other company out there. He was the innovator. And now his son, Adam, is the innovator. And of course, the team for all unique vacations and sandals resorts. They are privately owned. You're not getting a timeshare sale. You're not going to be bugged or anything like that, like you do at other resorts. So when people ask me, who would, where would I stay if I went on vacation? They're my number one choice. And that's why I go to sandals and take my vacations. I take my time because I know the experience that I'm going to get. So hopefully, if you guys have any questions, you know that we're here with you from the beginning of your planning until the very end, until you get home. And then hopefully you'll be ready to go again, you know, at a later time or let people know about Travel Pros and that we are your team. We are the girls. And if we hire any men, then, you know, we got a full team for you. So if you have any questions, you know, definitely let us know. And I really appreciate you attending. We have these events every Thursday, different vendors, different resorts, cruise lines, trying to do a broad topic um, for everyone. And um, we, we really do appreciate it. And um, come join us again. Thank you. We see Miss Yolanda had a question. Let's see what she had to say. Uh, she, was, she was raising her hand. Let's see if I can get her unmuted.
Hi, this is Yolanda. Um, I wanted to find out how would I go about selling sandals um, vacation to my clients? What is the best way to do that? Are you a travel agent, Yolanda? I am. Oh, well, unless you're working for my agency, I'm not going to give away my secrets now. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I've been selling sandals since day one that they came out. Um, I really got involved with sandals. I marketed myself with them. I partnered. I did have the, um, a wrapped Hummer. I had the only Hummer when it first came out in 2007. And it was wrapped with sandals and beaches resorts. Um, during that time, they did give me a marketing bank to help pay uh, for my car. And um, everybody just knew me as the honeymoon and destination wedding and honeymoon specialist. Mm -hmm. So I, I, that's the only thing I can tell you. You live it. And, and that's an easy way for me, you know, when people ask me, where would I go? Mm -hmm. And, and I, I can really truly speak from experience. So that's the best advice I can give you. Um, but marketing to the people, I don't know. It's, it's a formula I think I figured out. But again, I'm not going to share my secrets. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Does anybody else have any questions? All right, then. Well, I again, we're tape recording this, so I will be uploading it onto YouTube. Um, please follow us again, and we appreciate you being here. Have a good evening.